YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another track guide. Today, we're taking the little MX-5 around Oran Park South. Still don't know whether it's Oran or Oran. I recorded this one a few weeks ago and I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed it. A great little track, just like Oran Park GP. However, it's just got a little bit of a funky first turn. But don't worry about that. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Before we jump in, if you like the video, please like the video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you've got any comments, thoughts, questions, or queries, Drop them in the comments down below. Let's do this. So coming across the start finish line, we're going to be shifting up into fourth gear as we cross the line. And we're heading down to turn one, which is a funky little turn. For me, there's no exact breaking point. However, if you look to the right hand side on this wall, it changes from a white wall to a green wall. When your car is about a car length before that, that's when you're going to break. You're going to break very hard. We're going to be dropping the car all the way down to second gear. And we're going to be diving into this turn when we're going to take a nice shallow entry with a goal to getting the car slowed down very quickly in a straight line then doing all our turning then putting the power on so as you can see i've done a lot of heavy braking already and as we're getting close to the curb i begin to lift off the brake as i need to do a bit more turning then we're going to continue forward drop it down to second gear and then trail brake this is to get that extra bit of rotation before we slam the power back on the reason we're so aggressive with the power is firstly because you can be and secondly it initiates a bit of oversteer which is what we need this small amount of oversteer allows us to turn more obviously and allows us to get a better line into the following turn the slam on the power and and exit turn one what you need to bear in mind is you don't want to use all of the track on exit you want to keep the car fairly central and realistically as close to the left hand side of the track as possible while still being quick now this is obviously a compromise you can obviously keep the car as close to the left hand side as is physically possible but that will be too slow so you need to find a nice middle ground the middle of the track that is the middle ground so we're up to third gear on exit and we swing the car over to the left hand side as we approach this crest and we're about to enter a tricky right left obviously with the changes in elevation this is going to make things a little bit different so for the right hander as you go over the crest just lift and turn in this will try and keep more weight on the front of the car as you're going over the crest with a goal to reduce that understeer that we are inevitably going to get whilst we're going over the crest so the best advice i've got is to lift until you see your car pivot and then apply the power again and you really want to attack this curb on the inside i'm just going to hold it here and as you can see i've lifted off the throttle whilst i am on the curb this is because all the lumps and bumps that the car is going over it is going to affect the traction that the car has so if you just lift off it's going to make sure that your car is nice and stable you know you're only on half throttle for a second at most this is going to keep everything nice and smooth nice and planted and prepare you for the left hander which is coming up so then full power and then attack the curb on the left hand side we're not being as aggressive as the right hander but still taking a whole load of curb then the car is going to naturally drift over to the right hand side of the track and we're immediately into this uphill left hander braking point for this turn is the curb on the right hand side and as for the braking on this turn it's nice and simple we're just going to cover the brake we're really just trying to control the speed we're not decelerating heavily we're just using the brake to keep the weight on the front of the car and then once we've got our car pointed to the inside curb we really attack it then we apply the power smoothly as there is a small crest here the car is going to go light so the smoother we apply the throttle the better once again using all of the track on exit and we've got a quick right left which is very very easy flat out then we're very quickly into the last turn the braking point x marks the spot for me these tire marks create the x that's where we break initially we're going to be braking fairly hard then as we get closer to the curb on the inside we begin to ease off the brakes a little bit not too much trail braking in here instead i opt to just coast the best advice i've got for this turn is to get your inside wheels on the curb on the inside just after it starts about a car length after it starts you need to be in second gear at this point and then ease the power back on you're going to be shifting up to third gear very quickly so you need to be prepared to catch a bit of oversteer from the upshift and then just be careful of the wall on the outside as it does come at you fairly quickly as your car goes nice and light over the crest and then if you got that right it's a short sprint down to the finish line and we cross with a time of 46.799 uninterrupted lap is coming up right away thanks very much for watching see you next time